Greetings again, N6 student, Municipal Administration. Our topic today is public participation and municipal public relations. Reference material would be our book, and you must also have yours. Our book is Municipal Administration, book N6, which is written by A. Kruger. So in module 7, we're dealing with this participation. Before I unpack this public participation, let me just introduce you by saying in all public institutions, including municipalities, Public relations is very important in order to determine the views and opinions of the community being served by that particular institution. For example, the municipality is serving the communities in all wards, right? Public relations, that is the PRO, it's known as the PRO, are employed by municipalities whose duty is to determine the views and opinions of the public to assist them with policy decisions. Public participation. Let me unpack now the public participation per se, right? Municipal Structures Act, it requires that municipalities must involve public participation through community organizations and communities in public matters. This is so because the public must know how their taxes are utilized by the municipalities. They also want to be involved in decision making in the development of the IDP of the municipality. You'll remember the importance of the IDP. We did stress this in module one. You must go back if uh, you have forgotten. Go back and redo it yourself. The reasons for the public participation. One is to identify the needs and expectations of the community so that the municipality can meet those needs. To determine the existing and intended activities undertaken by municipalities to meet those needs. To determine the attitudes of the public towards municipality, the activities of the municipality and the physical aspects provided. For example, the parks. To change negative attitudes and views by the community into favorable attitudes and views. This also helps uh, to change their perception of the municipality because you, hear, you often hear people complaining about their own municipalities, about service delivery, about uh, corruption and all those things, right? Another point is to determine the opinions of the community on the results of policy and service delivery to evaluate policy objectives and implementation activities. To share intended activities and services with the community. Now let's go to the methods now for public or community participation. Please read page 91, paragraph 2.2. So in short, it talks about the political structures, mechanisms established in terms of the act, and also the encouragement of community and councillors' participation in all these. So please read those three paragraphs on your own for a clear understanding of these 
methods for public participation. The reason why I can't read them is due to time constraint. This is one of the long chapters. Okay? So communication with the public. It takes place through the local media, community, newspapers, which are free of charge, provincial gazette, notices displayed at the municipal offices and what consulars. And uh, you'll, you'll remember when you go to municipal offices, you'll find the notice board with most notices there, which uh, inform the community about anything uh, in the municipality which the public must know. Steps that municipality must take to ensure that the public is aware of what the policy objectives of the municipality is on page 92, right? On page 92, you'll appreciate that uh, you'll be doing this on your own. It's not that much. It's not that much. You'll just read and read and read. You will understand it's so simple and it's in point form, right? Let's move to opinion surveys. This is the popular method to determine the view of the public. It sets out questions to determine public opinion on a specific topic by interviewing participants on a large population. So each of those selected is chosen randomly by chance. You can just be chosen, right? Also read on page uh, 92 to supplement this information. Public relations, what is it about? What is it about? It's a management function which refers to a deliberate, blend and sustained effort to establish and maintain mutual understanding between an organization and its public based on what they plan to do which services are available, as well as the views and attitudes of the public on these activities. That is also on page 93 for supplementary. You can proceed there. The call centers. What about the call centers? Municipal Structures Act provides that municipalities must practice customer management in order to maximize the performance of the institution. Information is for services, fines, etc. Applications like approval of building plans and another one is inquiries on account payments, health and hospital services, pension and social services, reporting on problems, for example, broken water pipes, traffic lights are not working, etc., all those minor complaints, which are also important. Let's move to the task now of the office of the PRO. So it forms the integral part of the administrative process of the municipality and forms part of the management team. Roles and tasks of the PRO office are on page 94 to page 95, they are written in a point form and you will understand them. It's written in, a, in simple English for your understanding. Councils and public relations. Also read page 95. There you'll find the code of conduct for public servants and public relations. Code of conduct is contained in the Municipal Structures Act. What you did in N5 regarding the code of conduct 
of the municipal uh, workers as well as councillors is the same as this one here, the code of conduct. Provides guidelines to the officers and employees with regard to their relationship with political office bearers and the public. Relationship with legislative and executive authorities. What is required is that that relationship with legislative and executive is that the employees must respect the South African constitution as a guide in all what they are doing for the municipality. Respect the South African constitution. It must be in the forefront in all what we're doing. Right? And the relationship with the, with the community or the public. Uh, the municipal employees are the ones who must foster the unity of the South African nation because they're working with the Rainbow Nation, which comes to the municipal offices, paying rates, paying taxes, etc., etc. So all these people must unite as a Rainbow Nation under municipalities. Who makes that possible? Are municipal, municipal workers. So relationship with uh, between public servants themselves, public servants of the municipality. They must maintain a good relations and cooperate with one another so that they'll be productive in all what they are doing. So they, they are detailed, the details on uh, page 96 to page 97 which deal with the main with the with the maintenance of good relations and cooperation by the municipal public servants so after 96 and 97 you can continue reading on your own i'm not saying it's not important but you must just read, you must have a knowledge of some of the items written there. This is the end of module 7. So for exams, we're looking at this work, that is module 1 to module 7. I understand I did promise you that uh, module 1, 2, 3 will work on it, but I remember you also wrote a test on those. But I'll do something regarding that. Uh, so we're going to engage further when we meet in class. I wish you all the best in your studies and exams. Be safe from COVID-19 till we meet. I thank you.